virtual assistants. Well, Androids have Google Assistant, iPhones have Siri, but Samsungs in particular have had Bixby. Yup, that is right. Even if Android in itself did have Google Assistant, Samsung still went ahead and made Bixby. World's most trolled, cancelled, and hated virtual assistant. Even more than Cortana. MKBHD says Clippy is better than Bixby. Clippy! Mr. Mobile says instead of actually navigating him to the place that he was supposed to go to, Bixby got him all lost. That's how bad Bixby was. Everything from force buttons, slow processing times, to just wrong info and false flight alerts. Bixby was portrayed in the bad light. But even in 2022, is Bixby all that bad? Yes. All right, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, this is yours truly. Well, like, what else am I supposed to say? See, guys, at first, I really did think that it was too much of hate on Bixby, and we're in 2022, so it should have clearly gotten better. But after a week of really putting a lot of use into it, albeit unbearably, it is safe to say that this is a very badly made product and very lost product, at least coming from a company like Samsung. It does most of the things either worse than its counterparts or probably on par or okay, but that in itself does not give any advantages to Bixby or to why people should actually be motivated to use Bixby in the first place. What do you know about Siri or Google Assistant? I didn't understand that. Bixby used to have this one redeeming feature, which was the fact that it was locally stored, which means I didn't have to need an internet connection just so I can use Bixby for basic tasks like opening local apps. Well, too bad, because they basically took that idea and uh, threw it out of the window. Now, this doesn't basically mean that Bixby is actually pretty much useless. Well, it is a bit of a stretch, but considering that Bixby is actually integrated into whatever Samsung is doing, or basically One UI, Bixby is actually the better assistant if you want to locate something inside your folders or use some of the system apps, like Samsung apps, basically. So I guess Bixby can be used for that, but that is still what I am saying is a stretch because Samsung services aren't used that much and the maximum I see people use is file manager and phone. Well, yes, even Google Assistant can do that, but then it's not tightly integrated like what Bixby is to Samsung phones. So I guess you can use Bixby for that. See, Bixby was created in 2017 along the time when Samsung's ulterior motive was to just replace every Google app possible. Why? Well. They realized that the hardware market was getting a little bit dry and so they wanted to get into the services market, which is Google's domain. So long story cut short, they started making their own alternatives to every Google app possible and loaded them up in all of their Galaxy devices. This included some apps like Samsung Health trying to replace Google Fit, you have Samsung Internet which is obviously replacing Google Chrome. And interestingly, you also have Hero Maps as the official Google alternative from Samsung. Pretty funny, but sadly or happily, that did not happen. Fast forward to 2022 and Samsung is closer than ever to working with Google. Like, see these new products being launched. We have Bureaus by Samsung, we have a Samsung skinned exclusive Google Messages app, we have Google News being the default when you swipe left to see your newsfeed instead of the usual Samsung free. I know, a shocker. And it's not just here, there are much much more examples of this. So Bixby really now just lies in that bin of Samsung dead dumb apps. Well, 
they still are very much active, except there are very, very, very less people who actually use it. But there is one advantage to actually having Bixby, at least it used to be, which was... Bixby used to have a button called the Bixby button, which was separate from the power key unlike today's phones. At least initially, that was just used for Bixby. But over time, I realized that Samsung took note of that and they made it so that I could actually trigger any other app I wanted, which was pretty sweet. And so mine, mine's used for triggering WhatsApp and it's really, really handy. And that's one, one little advantage that I would say of using Bixby. Well, Samsung's other apps, they're not bad either. Well, I actually prefer Samsung Health over Google Fit, not because it gives very reliable data, but mostly because of easy widget management and I don't want to download Google Fit and I can actually see how many steps I've walked properly without needing a smartwatch. And I also prefer Samsung Music over YT Music because initially I used to like Google Play Music until they killed it off and I do not want to pay a subscription just so I can turn off my phone and listen to music. So I use Samsung Music and Samsung Music is basically used to run all of my downloaded songs. So, uh, hi, uh, it's me again. So I've been editing the video right now and uh, I wanted to share something. So I might actually stop using Samsung Music because it's been real buggy right now. And uh, sometimes I play the music, I don't seem to hear it even though it is offline and it's not supposed to load anything and it doesn't actually work sometimes so it's been getting really buggy I'm probably gonna change to a third-party music player but I've also told Samsung on this I don't think they're gonna respond to me cuz you know there's very less people actually using Samsung music so so long Samsung services and that's it so yeah Bixby is bad and we should probably move on.